I think the sentence was abundantly fair. I think that Her Honor did an amazing job. She dealt with uh, all aspects of the case and uh, it was an appropriate sentence. But it is an eye-opener for anybody uh, of whatever age that they have to be very careful of what they post on social media. Once it is posted, it can go viral and that's what happened in this particular case. She recognized what she did was wrong and the judge pointed that out. The moral culpability she did, uh, did and does acknowledge what she did was wrong and uh, she's dealing with that and uh, the sentence put in put it put it this way put in miss zoya in custody would not achieve absolutely anything uh nobody was hurt i do agree with her honor that this is consistent with a dangerous drive-in uh, where nobody was hurt so I, it was a very fair sentence and i and and what i said before is absolutely correct miss zoya now has an adult conviction she now has a criminal record and she has to deal with that so for anybody to suggest that there is no uh, underlying consequences is absolutely wrong. What was Missouri's reaction when, when we heard the sentence? The judge was clearly leaning towards a non-custodial sentence, and then she what, what did she do when she heard that? She was very happy. She kind of jumped, and uh, she maybe had a tear or two in her in her eyes. She was very she was afraid of going into custody, and that's something that also should be taken consider consideration. Uh, it was. A, a possibility that she can go into custody and she was afraid of that and she understands of course that if there's any you know further problems uh, that she has on social social media or anything any kind of criminal activity there's a very strong likelihood that she'll go into jail so she was very happy and most importantly she's uh, ecstatic that the case is over and that she can hopefully move on in her life hopefully she has learned her lesson